2013 consisted of twerking, engagements, and great music. So many different artists released albums that shattered the music charts. Let's take a look at the best albums of 2013. And I say hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Starting off the list is Canadian heartthrob Aubrey Graham, or better known as Drake. The Young Money artist released his third studio album titled Nothing Was The Same that reached platinum and sold 658,000 copies its first week. With some of the biggest hits of 2013 off the album, 2013 has indeed been Drake's year. Next up is everyone's favorite ATL rapper who was always true to the game, 2 Chains. With the release of his second studio album, Boats 2, Me Time, 2 Chains has won the hearts of many with his crazy sayings and unforgettable style. Having sold 63,000 copies his first week, 2 Chains will be continuing to stay laced in more than 2 Chains in 2014. 2 Chains, but I got me a few. I can't wait till I get you on the good looking. Releasing his third and fourth albums in two parts, Justin Timberlake has won the hearts of all the ladies in 2013. Releasing two albums in the same year lyrically about the theme of love, JT showed why his album had became the biggest selling album of 2013 in the US. JT has a lot to celebrate for the coming year. Snagging a Grammy nomination for his stalkerish love song, Power Trip, J. Cole has made quite a name for himself in 2013. Dropping his second studio album, Born Sinner, on the same day as Kanye West's release date, Cole outsold his fellow Rock Nation label mate and climbed to number one its third week on the Billboard 200 chart. Now I got tattoos on my body, psycho bitches in my lobby. I got haters in the paper, photo shoots with paparazzi, can even take Who can go platinum before his album even drops? Only one word, Hove. Magna Carta, Holy Grail. Jay-Z's 12th studio album was made available for free digital download for all Samsung customers with appearances from his tour mate Justin Timberlake and his missus. There's no wonder why he's nominated for nine Grammys. The West Coast has been the hottest topic of 2013 due to one kid from Compton. Kendrick Lamar, who's had a busy year after dropping his second studio album, Good Kid Mad City, is nominated for seven Grammys. The black hippie member stared up the hip hop community with his talked about verse in Big Sean's Control. After calling out fellow friends like J. Cole, Big Sean, and Drake, Kendrick has without a doubt showed that he is a good kid, but definitely is making many cities mad. Close your eyes and let the word paint a thousand pictures. One good girl is worth a thousand bitches. Kanye West makes the list with his controversial sixth studio album, Yeezus. From the title to the tracks had many questioning about if Kanye has lost his touch. With inspiration from designs and architecture while in Paris, Ye showed that his vision was all that matters. Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? That's exactly what Eminem did with the release of his eighth studio album, Marsha Mathers LP2. Being friends with monsters on his track with Rihanna, naming himself Rap God in the title track, Eminem has given listeners exactly what they've been missing. Return to the Mac, get up what it is, what it does, what it is, what it is. Going from the thrift shop to seven Grammy nominations for their album, The Heist, 2013 has surely been a great one for the hip hop duo Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. With their go-to summer hit, Thrift Shop, they both became the talk of the town and year. With even more albums that dropped in 2013, it's safe to say that 2014 has big shoes to fill. 